Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Me Fishing. I'm out here at Riverfront Park again today. I got my buddy Brian with me. There's a couple guys, other guys out here fishing today. So I'm starting off trying to wacky rig a Cinco because I've done good the last two trips on it. Uh, I'm not saying it's the best thing, but I've done good with it. So that's what I'm starting out trying. So it's a little windy today. Um, that's the reason why we're not out at the coast. Otherwise we'd be out there doing some bottom fishing. Salmon fishing is closed off the Sonoma coast. So hopefully next Friday we'll be able to make it out. And I got the first tuna trip of the year coming up here real quick, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully we do well. Right now they're doing really good on some nice bluefin. So, getting everything set up. Got my knife jigs and flat falls and all new fluorocarbon. So that's what I've been up to. So I hope you guys enjoy the video today. Um, as the sun drops a little, it should get better. There we go. First bass, you guys. Wow. First bass. Like I said, like I said last time, the back pond has smaller fish. There we go. My first little bass for the day. Right off the bat, five cast in roughly. I got that one off the weeds. So look you guys, all I'm doing, here's your Cinco, right here. Here's a Gamagatsu. It's a, it's a Gamagatsu number one weedless wacky worm hook. I think it says that. I'll put it in the description down below, the size and the, the code off the worm pack for you guys. So. You just take it and right here is a little flat spot in the Cinco. All I'm doing is I just hook it right through the little flat spot in the Cinco. And I just hook this little weedless part right here. I just pull it down over the barb of the hook. And that's all there is to it. And that's what I've been doing on all these trips. So, it's 100 degrees today too, by the way. I don't know what effect that's going to have, but I got a feeling that the fish might be really aggressive with this heat or they might shut off. We're going to find out. There we go. A big fish. Another, oh, I just lost him. Wow. Must not have hooked that one too well. Well, I, that was a bigger fish than the last one. That's a decent fish. 
Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's a good fish, sure. Uh oh, he's taking me in the weeds. Oh, that's a good one. There you guys. Here we go. There's bath number two for the, today. Third bath that I've hooked, but second bath that I've landed. Nice three pound bass. Beautiful looking fish. Let's let him go. Hey guys, I haven't even been out here a half hour yet. And I've already landed two bass. One was a little small, the other one was pretty nice. Lost a decent one too. Not nothing gigantic, no 10 pounders, but Sure is fun for a Friday afternoon after work. Oh, I just missed him. He was yanking on it, you guys. Ah, oh, darn it. Get him again. I don't think he's gonna go for that one again. We'll see. I don't know if it was a little guy that was real pecky or if it was a big one. Oh, here it goes. Let's see if we can get him this time. Oh, I got something this time. I ain't seen him yet. Little guy. Little pecky guy. There we go. Look at that, right in the tip of the nose, or the tip of the bottom of the jaw. There you go. Another nice little bass. That's bass number three for me. Lost one. Landed three. That's a decent fish. If I can get it to keep me out of the weeds. Or if I can get it out of the weeds. That's a good one. Oh yeah, it's pulling me all over the place. Oh yeah, another three pounder. Here we go guys, bass number four for the day. Another nice two and a half, three pound bass. Good looking fish, no sores, let him go. Here's a good one. It's a good bass, you guys. That's not gigantic. It's a decent one. There we go. Another knife. 
Yeah. Two pound bass, roughly. Not gigantic, nice big belly, good looking fish. That one got my worm. That one took my worm. There's another one, you guys. Bass number six. Little guy. Let him go. number seven you guys not a big one but it's bass number seven come on there we go bass number seven let him go Another one, you guys. There we go. There's bass number eight. Good looking little one pound bass. There we go. Bath number nine. Bath number nine, you guys. So that was two bass and two casts. And there's and here's three bass and three casts for number ten.
That's pretty good, you guys. There we go, number 10, third bass in a row. Oh. I went three for three, I couldn't do four for four. That's pretty good though, for a little public pond on a Friday afternoon after work. There we go. There's little bass number 11. That one's got a couple little marks on it. Something's been trying to eat it. Here we go, bass number 12. <laughs> I heard the uh, power that's been off the hook in the bay lately in San Francisco Bay. Oh yeah, it's been like that for a month. You didn't know that? I didn't know it was Oh yeah, they've been getting a fish. A fish and a half per rot. We should have gone on Thursday. It looks like it was would have probably been doable in the morning early. Dad went to Tamales yesterday. Yeah? Yeah, and they lost two keepers, missed some bites, and landed one keeper. Really? Yeah. How rough was it? It was rough. There we go, bass number 13. Windy and rough? Yeah, it was rough. That's why we didn't go. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Um, we ended up with 13 largemouth for the day, or I ended up with 13 largemouth for the day. Don't know what Brian got. Um, had a great time, great afternoon. Got out here about 4.30. Um, it's almost dark now, so I gotta get off the water. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, um, please share with all your friends, and thanks for all, this, all the support and tight lines. Until next time, you guys.